the trip's finally coming to an end. We just took all that luggage and we just uh, checked out officially and in a few hours we all go to the airport. And I really did believe that time travel was real for a moment there. I believe that time travel was happening to me, that I was a time traveler. I blink, I finish it, I blink. What is this? Can no. I see? Crack? In the process of finding a bin, I will have another one. Everyone here is a time traveler. They've jumped time zones. There's no other way to, to talk about this. And then I woke up this morning and I realized how ridiculous am I? I mean, this world is so vast and so big and everything's already been done. Here I am just thinking I'm some sort of special person traveling through time. Nah. I was just a bit intoxicated, I guess. And to be honest, when I get back, I plan on doing that a bit less because I don't know if the highs are worth the lows because right now I'm feeling pretty low. I just came from one of the best experiences of my life and I feel exhausted and depleted and I don't want to sound ungrateful actually. I I'm not at all. I'm very happy with the trip. But the reality is it is a sense of melancholy that comes after everything. I've always been a pretty emotional person. I usually write about it or make a film. But now that I've found vlogging, I find this is one way that I can express myself and be raw, honest and true. And so yeah, as silly as it is that I thought I was a time traveler yesterday, I was a time traveler for a moment there. Life's full of contradictions, dualities, happiness, sadness, love, heartbreak, depression, all these things. And I'm not exempt from that. No one's exempt from that. We're all just doing the best to live our lives. I'm sad because I know that my baseline is very different to what I've just experienced. When I was younger, I tried to live in a perpetual state of elevation. I'm a bit more mature now and a bit older. And let's be honest, my body can't handle things the way that it used to. So I found a different way to do things, different way to cope maybe. So I don't go as hard as I used to and I just generally overall do a little less to my body. I try to drink water and all that. But here I am now, staring at this huh, bamboo water thing that keeps, it's like, it's like from the scene in Kill Bill kind of thing. It's really cool. But yeah, staring out the view. I've been rambling for a bit now, but I guess what I'm trying to say is all good things must come to an end. And this is the last day of the trip, for real. To be honest, I didn't think I would actually last and film every bit of it. I actually thought that the day before the last was gonna be the last, and then I kept filming, and then I did another one yesterday. It was like there's this um, automatic artist in me that can't stop creating things, even when my body is like, nah, just enjoy, enjoy it in a different way. Don't pull your camera out and film. Nah, it's just like, I'm being true to myself and film just happens, you know? Even right now, checking out and I'm filming, you know? But 
think I'll just leave with this one last image of this bamboo thing because it's pretty cool. I'm gonna just end on that note. We'll see. And if that is not a poetic image of this life and how the scales always must level out when things get heavy the scales they tip and that is the reality of our everyday lives okay, cut <laughs>